Hey guys, welcome to the channel and the video here today. We are going to talk about the 4.87 firmware update that Sony recently pushed. I'm going to let you know what was in that update, pretty much why Sony went ahead and pushed it. Then we're going to talk about what is available right now for those of you who are on custom firmware like Kex or Dex, what you can do and what you can use. Also, those of you who are on Hen, what is available for you right now at this moment for 4.87. After that, we are going to be talking about some security issues because we got even more information from Habib. Now, this is not going to be that drama video that I talked about me doing, I think, yesterday that I was going to you know, release it yesterday and then it got really late and whatnot. And the reason why I'm not probably going to finish it up today, maybe do it tomorrow or the day after, is because stuff keeps coming out. Habib just keeps doing all these posts where he's giving us some crazy information and then we have some more drama between him and other developers and moderators. So I'm waiting till all of this dies down because it's just crazy. But anyway, among the many things that he said recently is that apparently there is still a bug that has to do with our emails. And he said that he did not turn that over to Sony. So in the recent exploit that he turned over to Sony, that bug wasn't part of the exploit. It wasn't reported to them. So it's still there. It still exists. So we're going to talk about security because it's definitely a serious issue. And this covers, again, PS3s, 4s, 5s, and Vitas. And then what you could do to stay a little bit safer. I'm also going to put some links down in the description that should help you out. And then we're going to look at one or two instances where some people have gotten large amounts of money just stolen straight out of their accounts because they had their payments attached to PSN. One person had, I think, 17,000 euros or liras or pounds or something like that completely taken from their bank account and spend on nothing but V-Bucks. So this is definitely a serious issue. Let's go ahead and let's get started with first all the 4.87 stuff for custom firmware and HEN. All right, so I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to this page here. I suggest you bookmark it or if you're subscribed and you've turned on the notification bell, whenever something changes here and there's an update to HEN or a custom firmware comes out or something like that, anything having to do with 4.87, I will go ahead and if I don't have a chance to make the video right away, I will do one of those YouTube community postings and you should get notified and then I'll put all the information there with links and stuff like that so that way you just get notified when something gets updated and you don't have to keep checking it all the time another thing is that you need to be careful with all the scammy stuff and clickbait stuff that's going to come out and that already is out regarding 4.87 stick to the official stuff especially now that we know more of what's going on with these exploits that deal with security vulnerabilities. So you definitely don't want to go to these shady sites or anything like that. Again, stick to the official stuff. Plus PSX Plays is where most of these developers call home, especially the ones from Hen and the ones who do the legit custom firmwares for PS3. All right, guys, so let's start off with Hen because this one is fairly easy. Unfortunately for Hen, you're going to have to sit back and play the waiting game because officially Hen has not been updated yet. Now, hybrid firmware has updated to 4.87.1, but Hen itself has not updated yet. Now they said they are working on it. It should be out soon, but we don't have any idea when that soon is. As of the making of this video, it hasn't come out yet. Again, you need to be careful about whatever might surface that's out there. If a workaround comes out and it's legit and it doesn't compromise your security or anything, then I'll let you guys know about it. In the meantime, you just need to sit back, hold tight, and don't go all ETA when kid on me. I don't know when they are going to update it. It could be a couple of hours, a few hours, a couple of days, a few days, a week, who knows? So you just need to be a little bit patient. For those of you on custom firmware, if you are on Kex, you do have an option and that is Send Enabler. It's been updated to 6.27, which allows you to spoof to 4.87. Now I did this video here back in March of this year. You can go to like the three minute mark and it shows you how to update your Send Enabler. I think this was for 486, but you follow 
the exact same steps. And then once you do that, you'll be good to go. But long story short, if you already have a spoofer and you're on Kex, you're going to need to disable it. Once it's disabled, make sure you reboot your system, then confirm you're on the older firmware, then go to the XMB, delete the old spoofer you have, the old send enabler, install the new one, and then enable it and make sure you're on 4.87. Oh, and just remember guys, as is the case always with these spoofers, whenever you run Send Enabler, you do run a higher chance of getting banned. So keep that in mind. The other thing is if you are on Hen, do not run Send Enabler. I say this all the time in these videos, including that video I just showed you. And guess what? You always have these people who think that they know more than the community, more than the developers, and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna run Send Enabler even though it says it's for custom firmware, I'm going to run it on Hen. I'm pretty sure nothing will happen. And then they soft brick or they perma brick and, you know, they start crying and wondering what happened. Well, there you go. You ran Sen on Hen. Don't do it. And for those of you on Dex, as you may already know, you don't have to do absolutely anything. You can sign in as long as you're on Dex 4.82 or higher. Don't need to use any spoofers. I'm on 4.82 and I was able to sign in without any problems. You don't need to wait for anything to update. You just go about your business. You lay back and enjoy the Dex high life. Just one of the perks of having a system that is on Dex. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover the security stuff. And before I continue, just to let you guys know, if you want to know what was done by Sony in this latest update, there's a few things that we know for sure that Sony did. I'll cover that with you as soon as we're done uh, with this security portion, which really shouldn't take too long. Okay, so thanks to Habib, we know that there is a major issue with security, not just on the PS3, but on the PS4. PS5, PS Vita, it has to deal with your PSN accounts as well as any method of payments that you have attached to your PSN account. And that's the main thing. Don't worry about console IDs. These guys don't give a damn about console IDs. They really never did. But this is a lot more serious than that. So in order for you to be safer, you're going to need to follow these steps. You need, And this should be done on all your PlayStation consoles. You need to deactivate the account from your console. Then you need to, when you reactivate it, you need to change your email change the password and remove any saved payment methods. Do it in that order. Now, if you don't know how to deactivate the account from your console, it doesn't mean you're going to lose that account. You're just deactivating it from that console itself. And I believe the way it works is that when you reactivate it, you get a different number, a different account number or something along those lines. I know that's how it works on the PS4, a certain number changes. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's like that for the PS3 and all the others. So that's why you do that first. Anyway, if you're not sure how to properly deactivate the account, I'll put links in the description. There's a way you can remotely deactivate all of your PlayStation accounts. Um, according to Sony, they walk you through it. Then there's a link there on how to do it on like your PS4. But anyway, if you need help with that all you need to do is google how to deactivate my account on ps3 or ps4 ps5 you know whatever the console may be so you get the gist of it and then do all of that and do not attach a method of payment to your account because that's one of the main things i know that might make things a little bit less convenient but it's better to be safe than sorry so you absolutely positively should not take this lightly because it's possible you could be one of those millions of consoles. And I'll go ahead and just link a couple of these examples. For example, this one here is from earlier this year where several people lost large amounts of cash because their PSN accounts got hacked. And then we have this one here, the one I was talking about earlier. This individual contacted Sony. He's claiming that his bank account was completely cleaned out when his PSN account was hacked and they took all 17,000 pounds he had in there and they used all of it to to purchase V-Bucks, so he was completely cleaned out. Unfortunately, his bank couldn't do anything about it. They said it's up to Sony first, and so Sony has to take time to investigate. So in the meantime, this guy has lost all of that money. And these are just a couple of examples 
from a huge list of individuals who have had their PSN accounts hacked and have lost large sums of money. So again, something you shouldn't take lightly. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out some of the changes that we know Sony did with this latest 4.87 update. Okay, so there's actually been a few things that have been updated in this latest firmware push. I know a lot of people sometimes say, why does Sony keep updating the PS3? They don't even do anything except maybe take away some stuff. But in this one, there's been some changes. According to the developers over from RPCS3, which is the PS3 emulator for PC, they noted two things here. One is that there indeed is a minor security fix. This kind of coincides with what Habib has been saying, although he believes that there's going to be another update coming out soon because according to him and the exploit that he turned over, there's something on Sony's server side they're going to have to fix and then they have to push out another update. So expect the PS3 as well as all the other PlayStation consoles and the Vita to get updates very soon, maybe within the next couple of days or a few days. Anyway, it states here that there was that minor security fix and then also that they updated the Blu-ray keys for new movie releases. If you use your PS3 to play Blu-ray movies, if you've ever gotten like a new movie and sometimes you're sitting on an old firmware and you put the movie in, a message will pop up and it'll say that the keys need to be updated in order to play the movie. And that's what this does. It keeps those keys updated so you can play new movies on your system. There's also something else that Sony did that's not listed here. It was a little trick involving spoofing. So whenever an update was pushed, you could use Webman along with a text file and you could put that text file, I think, on the root of your HDD zero and then your system would kind of get spoofed. And that trick worked for like 10 years. However, with this update, it no longer works. Sony has patched it. It's been mentioned over at PSX Place. So yeah, they fixed that too, of all things. So those are the major changes that have happened with this 4.87 firmware update. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the video. Let me know what you think about all this crazy security stuff. I'm going to be working on that PS3 drama video, but I'm kind of letting things play out for now. Hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, or if you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, the best way to show your support, as always, is just to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, especially now that a lot of stuff is going down with the Switch and this whole PS3 stuff. That way, when I do those posts, you get notified. And whenever I do a video, because I'll be doing some switch videos here very shortly because everything is starting to update and some like quick tutorials and stuff like that. And anything that comes out for the PS3 and gets updated for 4.87, I will let you guys know as well. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, and have fun. And we will see you on the next one.